morning. My name is Roxana, and I'm a PhD student at Dalhousie University under supervisory of Dr. Lord David. And let us start my presentation with a question from you. Have you ever any idea how many people are suffering from food insecurity in Canada? Because you know that food insecurity is one of the major issues all over the world. But what about the Canada? One out of eight households in Canada are suffering from food insecurity. It means it's equal with 4.4 million based on a Canadian Community Health Survey. And Nova Scotia has the highest rate of food insecurity by 16%. Five out of 16% are faced with severe food insecurity. It means for a couple of days, they don't access the sufficient food. Food insecurity, it means is inadequate or insecure access to sufficient food with a good quality. And as you know, it is strongly associated with mental and physical problem. And global warming and climate change make it this situation worse because it adversely affects plant production. So conventional agricultural system around the world and some lab techniques such as different methods of tissue culture, colus culture, suspension culture, try to improve plant production for growing population. But they have an adverse effect on human health and for the environment due to using different chemical fertilizer, pesticide, hormones that they use it. So what is the solution? How we can solve this problem as a researcher, as a graduate student? So we use and solve the problem through sustainable agricultural system. For example, previous studies show that manipulating of pre-harvest factor, such as environmental factor and uh, growing media properties, for example, genotypes, significantly improve plant production and their quality with minimal environmental risk. So in my project, I'm more focused on uh, using the effect the different growing media and LED spectrum in the plant, plant production and the quality of microgreen species. So, but today I'm just talking about the first part, the effect of the growing media on uh, kale and arugula. So I use different uh, natural amendments with a combination of them, uh, including vermicast, sodas, perlite, pit moss, and mushroom compost. Pit moss in treatment 1-1 and treatment 2-1 was replaced with mushroom compost to compare the effect on the crop and the quality. The control is negative uh, combination of soda, pit moss, and positive control is just promix. All data are subjected to way on our analysis and uh, principal component analysis PCA was used to find the association between yield by chemical parameters and growing media. So as you see in my, in my slide, actually the yield increased dramatically in the growing media made with mushroom compost. It means treatment 2-2 two, two, and treatment 1-2. Aracula yield increased by 205% and the kale yield increased by 264% in treatment 2-2 two, two, compared to their uh, respective control. Photosynthetic pigments, including chlorophyll and carotenoid, was significant uh, in different mixed growing media. And uh, treatment 1 2 was the most effective growing, uh, growing media to improve total chlorophyll in arugula and kale. However, uh, other mixed growing media in uh, total chlorophyll in kale was significant compared to their uh, controls in this uh, study. And the highest carotenoid content in both plant species obtained in treatment 2-2. Two, two. For example, uh, arugula carotenoid increased by um, 15% and kale carotenoid increased by 71% in treatment 2-2 two, two, compared to respective uh, positive respective control. The biochemical of the yield and arugula in, in terms of sugar, protein, and phenolic compounds uh, was significant uh, by using a different mixed growing media. Arugula sugar content was higher in, three, in positive control, followed by um, treatment 2 2, as you can see in the picture. And kale sugar was increased by 23% in treatment 1 1. Uh, protein content of the arugula was higher by 37% in treatment 1-1 one, one, 
and then KL argula, I mean, uh, KL protein content was increased by 105% in treatment 2 2 compared to the respective positive control. And uh, it was inter interestingly that total family compound in both plant species was higher in the new growing medium made by pit moss. Maybe it's because of the higher carbon content in this mixed uh, media. And for example, argula and calcaneli compound increased by 15% in treatment one, one and uh, calcaneli compound increased by 29% in treatment one, one compared to the respective control. So the PCA results show that um, the treatment 2-2, two, two, as you can see in the picture, uh, it's more has a more stability and adaptability compared to other mixed growing media. So it can be associated with the improved yields and biochemical compounds. As a summary of this research study, different mixed growing media uh, has a, a differentially altered the uh, 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 yield and um, quality in kale and argula and overall treatment. 2-2 was the most effective growing media for the microgreen plant species. And uh, as suggested of this study, we can say treatment 2-2 can be used as an appropriate alternative for uh, growing and improving the quality microgreen species. Thank you so much for your attention.